Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today I am doing a huge baby and toddler haul. So I know I actually technically have two toddlers because Jessie is now two and Julie's four. But Jesse is so small, um, he like still fits in 12 to 18 months clothes. So I actually, he literally can't go in anything really much bigger. Um, unless it's kind of like a jumper or something or a coat because it literally just kind of like falls off of him. Um, so that's why I still call it like baby and toddler. Um, so yeah, I have Zara, um, I have quite a bit from Primark, um, next. And then oh, I have some shoes from this lovely company called Cravat as well that I'm going to show you. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. We'll start with Zara, everybody's favourite. So first of all, I'm going to show you the items from Zara. They're really cute. So I got Jessie these little gorgeous like harem style trousers. Um, yes, they are from the girl section, but I am going to cut the bows off. I'm just going to unpick them. Um, I just really love the colour and they're stretchy. And this is like really what I need for Jesse because he's so petite around the waist. Um, and he's actually trying to like potty train himself. Like he will literally ask to go for a wee wee on the toilet all day um, and have a dry nappy. But he's just so like slender when I, he has his like um, nine to 12 month like, trousers on. They just fall straight over his bum if he doesn't have a nappy on. Um, I did actually pick these up in 12 to 18 because I'm hoping that they're going to be like kind of tight enough to like pinch around the waist a little bit more. Um, but I don't know. Actually, now I'm looking at them, they do look really big. Um, but we'll see. But yeah, so I got these from Zara. These are super cute and these were $14.99. Also, I love just this like the brown kind. I never really used to like buy a lot of browns, but... I actually am really like loving like the beigey brown colours this season. Normally just like white and grey all day. Um, and then I got this for Jude from Zara. So this was 14 dollars as well. This is from the older kids section. So it's this gorgeous lovely jumper which I actually would like for myself. <laughs> um, so this was aged 7 years. Um, Jude is the complete opposite to Jesse. He is so tall, much more broader. He's like like he's not like he's just solid um so yeah I always always size up for Jude he grows like I swear every time I wake up in the morning he's grown like again and again and again so yeah I got this for Jude which is so lovely it's really soft as well it's not like it I think it looks like that itchy material but it's definitely not um and then pick these up in Zara Homes they have actually got matching it's got a sticker on it with an eight so this is from the Joy in Life section and these were £20 so it's this gorgeous little like cream and grey striped top and then it comes with these lovely little like grey trousers again these actually are like pyjamas <laughs> um, but they're from the Zara home and um, not the actual like Zara kids section um, but I just thought that it's a really nice outfit just to like wear out and about like soft plays and things like that where they just want to be comfy it's just so loose and comfy so yeah I actually got a pair for Jude and a pair for Jesse. and then I'm going to show you what's in this nice big Zara box I have actually opened it already so I love how like Zara comes like the nice tissue paper makes it feel so much more special okay so i got the boys a matching set of these i actually got this in 12 to 18 months for jesse but it's literally huge for like jesse anyway so it's just lovely like beigey brown like super soft like cuddly jumper and it just says 100 percent kind on it and this was 12.99 which i think is so cute they actually do this from three to six months all the way up to four to five years because i did actually get one for jude as well um, and then I got them the little matching bottoms and these were 10 99 and then they just say hello everyone on the back I just think they're so so cute um, and they just look super duper comfy one of my favorite shops to shop in for the boys is River Island and for myself as well but for the boys so first of all I got this so you may actually recognize this I actually have this for Jessie in six, it's either six and a half months or nine to twelve months um, and I loved it so much that I bought it in the bigger size this is 12 to 18 um, it's a gorgeous cable knit all-in-one like pram suit um, and this is just ideal because 
I always find like when you put coats and stuff on the kids, um, they can't wear them in the car seats and stuff. So something like this just all over keeps him warm everywhere. Um, and then you can put a coat on over it when you go outside of the car or whatever. Or if we're in the push chair and they're wearing this and they've got a blanket on, they're super cozy. They don't need a coat as well. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love this. Um, and this was £25 which I think is really really good it's not super thick materials only the hood that's like all fleecy and um, the rest of it is just this knitted material but it's nice because it's not too hot because I think you can get so carried over like layering up so much because you're always worried they're going to be so cold so yeah I think it's perfect really this one and then I also got this little set which is gorgeous so it's this gorgeous baby blue cardigan with the little pom-pom on the hood so jesse does actually have this in gray and beige as well and he literally lives in them so it comes with the cardigan and the little cable knit leggings as well um which are actually going to be way too big for jesse i've just realized i might have to get them in a smaller size but this baby blue color is just so lovely and i just feel like it's just really nice to add into their wardrobe because I feel like in autumn winter everything's so dark and stuff so I just feel like adding a little bit of colour in is really sweet and it just is so Christmassy. I just absolutely love this um, and this was £28 as well and they are really good like they honestly last and last and they wash up so well and yeah they're great and then I got Jessie this from River Island which is just oh my god this is so cute okay I think it's going to be a bit big 12 to 18 months I got this in, this is £25, it's like um, a chenille, I don't know if that's how you say it, like knitted um, material and it just says you are loved, like gorgeous little hoodie and again a little like a uh, pom pom on the end of the hood which is so adorable, so it came with a jumper and then it also came with some little matching leggings but I'm definitely going to have to get this in a smaller size because this is going to be massive on Jesse. I know he is only, well, Jesse is two actually nearly, but um, Jesse's tiny. But yeah, these are so, so soft. The quality of these is so nice. I'm definitely going to have to change them for the smaller side. The problem with Jesse is he's so petite, but he's so tall. He's basically just me, but a baby. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is absolutely adorable. So I also got these little kickers for Jude I absolutely love kickers okay so Jude has kickers for school um, but like velcro ones and he loves them he says they're super comfortable um, so I was scrolling through kickers the other day because the boys needed some winter shoes and I found these gorgeous like grey almost kind of like a blue colour and they've got these little sharks on them um, and that they are just super comfy they're all nice and lined so they keep their feet super warm um, they are it's like a stay clean so I kind of feel like they don't get they're not going to get as dirty i think they're kind of coated in something to kind of stop them from getting all scuffy um and then they are micro fresh and um, like inside i think it's like a special cotton that helps prevent the feet from smelling because boys feet do smell <laughs> um but yeah they're absolutely lovely i just really really love these and um, these are 37 pound from the actual kickers website and jude tried, tried them on the other day we'll try and house in them just didn't want to take them off he absolutely loved them he said they're super comfy um and i know they are leather um but with the boys I just kind of feel like with shoes when I buy shoes that are faux leather for them they just get trashed straight away and they don't last and end up spending lots of money on a hundred pairs of shoes through the winter like next jessie has got a gorgeous pair of next trainers I'm actually going to show you in a minute um they're lovely but they literally will be ruined in probably a month and then they're no good and yeah it's just it's kind of not a sustainable shopping that way so although they are leather they are going to be like the winter shoes that Jude will wear throughout the whole autumn and winter and they go with all of his outfits so yeah I thought I'd invest our money in a good pair of kickers. Say hi camera. Uh, hi Ken. Huh. Because a good boy. You're such a good boy. You're going to go play? Go on then go play in your bedroom. Okay so I'm gonna do Primark next. So I actually found some really lovely pieces in there. Um, again, some of this was from the girl section. Um, and if you've been watching me for a while, or you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I always end up shopping in the girl section because, oh, turn it back on, thank you, leave it on, thank you. 
um, they always have such a much more like nicer range and some of the things really are genuinely quite unisex it's just obviously stores don't have like the girls boys slash mommy. unisex range probably one day they will but mommy. it's a switch for the light so i got this which i actually adore this was part of a three piece set so it's this gorgeous little jumper which i don't think really is just girls i think this definitely can be <laughs> can you turn that back on that's it leave it on don't keep touching otherwise it'll break thank mm -hmm. you which is definitely like girls and boys and it came with this hat this gorgeous little bubble knit hat um which is really sweet and it was supposed to come i think with a pair of trousers but the, this was the only one left when i was in the store and it was just this and this um i think it was actually supposed to be 12 pound but the lady done it for eight pound i think um and then this is actually 18 to 24 months um which is really big but i'm just going to turn the sleeves up and it will fit him because i literally loved it i could not not buy it jesse stop turning the light on and off turn it on Thank you. Leave it alone. Don't keep touching. Otherwise it will break. No. Don't do it or it's going to break. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No. Don't do it. Just Jess. <gasps> Jesse. <sighs> okay. So next up from Primark. Oh my goodness. No. Leave that alone you cheeky little boy is this gorgeous little coat which again was in the girls section jesse oh my god jesse <laughs> stop it you're driving me crazy leave it alone <laughs> turn, it, turn it on turn it on go on oh, i think you broke it it's broken okay i'm gonna carry on so okay now leave it alone good boy no more touching um, Jesse actually had pretty much the exact same coat from Zara last year, um, but they only went up to 12 months, and he's, he needs a bigger coat size for, um, for now. So this was actually only £12. No, not one more time. And this is 12 to 18 months, and it's so soft and lovely. Jesse! <laughs> And it's like all of this inside. It really is just so nice, like for £12. Yeah. Thank you. No more now. You really can't go wrong. That, mommy. That's for the camera. Do not touch. Otherwise, the whole camera will fall. Okay, and then I got this in Primark for Jew. They didn't actually have one small enough for Jesse. Um, this is five to six years, and this is £1.80. Like, £1.80. You literally cannot go wrong. I actually wish I bought a couple. Because, you know, like, yeah. tops always get ruined or stained, especially when you've got older kids that like to run around in, like, mud <laughs> and, like, play football and just be outside all the time. So, I actually really should have got more. But £1.80, that like, is so nice. Um, I also quickly picked up these little gloves, which I thought was super cute. These, again, are for Jude, and they're £3. Um, yeah, and actually... <gasps> what did you find? Oh, wow. Um, they actually have, like, the finger fits that you can wrap over which is actually really handy because Jude gets really frustrated in mittens wow that's so cool Jesse and then I also grabbed Jesse um these little jeans here from Primark and he has actually worn them I can't remember how much I think they were like four or five pound these lovely little grey jeans again they've got a nice elasticated waist oh wow that's really cool and I all picked these up in I don't actually know what size to pick them up in, but I've, I've squeezed them in at the waist. You can see, like, um, inside they've got that button so you can pull it in. No, not one more time. Um, so I actually got them in the grey. This one really nice and fresh, actually. No, not one more time. And I got them in this lovely little, like, beigey brown colour again, which is really cute. And again, they were the same thing. They're, like, four or five pounds. And they've got the things at the waist so you can, like, cinch them right in, um, which is really handy because... Jesse is so small around the waist, but his legs are long. Like he's Hello, just the height of a hello. He's the height of like a two-year-old, but he's just so petite. Um, so I think trousers like that are so hello, good. Hello, mummy. Hello, Jesse. Gonna come and say hi again. Yeah. You coming over here? Careful. Ready? <gasps> hi, everyone. Hi. hi. What have you got? Show the camera what you got. <gasps> wow. Is it a spinner? Yeah. Yes, Pina. Oh, he's lovely. <laughs> okay, so 
Hopefully Jessie's not going to leave the light alone. Um, yeah, so that was Primark. I wanted to quickly show you guys. I picked these up in Jojo Mum and Baby. They're like welly socks. And I just thought they were literally so cute. They just literally, for the little kids, they go in. They're all like nice and like fleecy to keep their feet all warm. Because wellies are not the warmest of shoes. Um, and then it has these like little pandas that come over the top of the wellies. I just thought these were really cute. And these were, if you so if you bought two, you saved five pounds. But I didn't actually know that, otherwise I would have got two. <laughs> um, so I've only just seen that. They were actually 14 pounds, which is actually quite pricey for a pair of wellie socks for like children. But um yeah, they're super cute, so I wanted to quickly show you guys them. Okay, so next I'm going to do Sainsbury's because I've only got a few bits and then I'll do next because quite a few bits from next. So I picked these up for Jude in um, Sainsbury's. <laughs> it's because I saw tea and it threw me off. Um, okay, so I've got these in four to five years and these were £6. And they're like these gorgeous little knitted leggings. They have actually got these like glittery bits at the bottom because they are for girls. But um, if I just turn it up again, like, then they go away. You're not going to see it. And to be honest, you're not really going to notice it anyway. Um, but, yeah, I just thought they're really cute. And Jude loves wearing a pair of leggings. They're just so comfy for kids to wear, like, much more comfy than jeans. Um, so, yeah, I grabbed them for Jude. And then I grabbed these for Jessie in 9 to 12 months. And they were £5. And then these, like, gorgeous little grey joggers. And then on the bum, they have this gorgeous little, like, bare face. So I just thought they were super sweet and they're like super soft. They're all like this kind of like fleecy inside. So they're like going to be really warm and comfy. And then I also grabbed these for Jude. They actually had these in other colours as well. I think they had them in a burgundy and maybe a green as well. They're really lovely and they had them in grey actually. Um, these are £10.50 and they've got a nice like, elasticated waistband which is really handy because when Jude goes to the toilet himself... He struggles with like doing buttons and zips and things, so I like prefer things that just pull straight over. I think it's so much more easier for kids when they're like just learning to, you know, like do their own clothes and things like that. Um, and they're just like this nice corduroy. They're not like heavy, like proper corduroy. Do you know what I mean? Um, and then they just like turn up at the bottom. And these were actually in the boys section. Um, yeah, and they were ten pound fifty. And I just thought they were really nice and just super easy to like put on. I also picked up one thing from M&S. Um, I got these gorgeous little like ribbed knitted leggings for Jesse and Grey. Got them in 12 to 18 months, but he actually really needs them smaller. They constantly fall down, even over his nappy. They're just huge, but they're really, really lovely. I'm really sorry, I can't remember how much they were. I think they were about 10 pound, maybe six. I'm gonna say six to 10 pound. But M&S had like an actual organic little clothing range going on. That's kind of like ribbed leggings and a t-shirt I think it was a long sleeve top actually I had it in grey and a really nice like blush pink um that's what I actually went in looking for in the M&S near me and I couldn't find it um but I did see these and they had actually another pack of leggings that I think were blue like a really lovely like pastel blue a pastel uh, pink and maybe a grey as well um but I didn't need them I just actually really wanted the blue pair um because I'd already had these otherwise I probably would have bought them and just given the pink pair to my friend um but yeah I'd already bought these um but yeah they did actually have an organic clothing section so if anyone sees it it's meant to be really lovely I saw it online um and it's obviously really good that it's organic and apparently it's really good prices so I think M&S are kind of transitioning to a lot more sustainable clothing um sustainable cotton and organics and things like that which is really good Okay, so if you can hear lots of noise in the background, Jesse is emptying his toy box out in his bedroom. <laughs> um, okay, so moving on to next. I have quite a few bits from next actually. Um, lots of it, I've got the boys the exact same, so I'm just going to show you like one of. Um, so for example, I have this um, gorgeous little like kind of like cable knitted almost um, roll neck and just long sleeves and I got this for Jude and Jesse. They actually had them last year as well, but they were just like a... Um, like a ribbed instead of like a kind of like cabling knit one so i have them in the creamy color it's like an off white and then i also have them in the gray oh sorry this one's actually inside out let me turn it the right way around i really should like organize myself a little bit more next time it's because i like have such little time to do this but i like, really want to do it <laughs> so i just like get everything really quickly and i normally try and keep everything like so it's new so you guys can see it like unworn but sometimes, you know, needs must, and my kids just need to wear clothes. <laughs> so um, I got it also in a grey. This one here is for Jessie, obviously. Um, and again, it's like that lovely knitted, like, style. And I got one for Jude as well. These were 
uh, 12 pound, I think they were 10 or 12 pound. I think Jessie's might have been 10 and Jude's are 12. Um, but around that price mark. Um, and then I also got the boys one of these each. Oh, lovely little Mickey Mouse long sleeve top. And then it's got Mickey like on the sleeve, which is really cute. And this was 11 pounds. This is 12 to 18 months and Jude's obviously a lot bigger so dudes with next series like add a couple pounds on like the more like higher up you go in age so dudes probably maybe like 13 or 14 pound it might even have been the same i'm not 100 percent sure um but yeah i just thought that was really cute easy little top and jesse loves mickey mouse <laughs> so i grabbed that and then i also got one of these for each of them as well oh here this is actually brand new this is 10 pound so um i think the other ones that were like kind of cable knitted probably would have been the same so this is the ribbed one, which they actually still have. I actually had them in white and grey last year. Jude still has his white one. Jesse's outgrown his. Um, but yeah, Jude wore his white one the other day. But I got them both them in this colour as well to go with their outfits. They're just really nice and handy to have. And they're not like too thick where I find like, you know, like you lay your kids up loads because it's so cold outside. But if you're going shopping or to a restaurant or somewhere, then you've got to get in there and then you strip like loads of layers off and... And you've got like arms and a push chair like full of coats and jumpers and hats and scarves and everything so i just kind of like stick with things like this that have a high neck so i know that they're kind of like warm all round um then if they don't want to wear their scarf whatever you know they haven't really got to unless it's like freezing freezing um and then they're not like too thick where they're gonna get super hot inside and like jude is the first one to complain about being hot like anywhere we go like he hates wearing a coat, anything. He would literally just be naked all year if he could. Um, so yeah, and Jude doesn't actually complain in these. He wore one the other day, he had it on all day. He had his coat on over it whilst he was out. And then when we were like in and out of the shops and eating and stuff, he like took the coat off and he just had this on and he didn't complain about being hot. So yeah, I think they are really good for that. Um, and I don't normally like put thermals or anything on my kids unless like we're going out all day and we're going to be outside and it's cold like autumn winter and we're going to like a big like day out for like you know you go to like santa's grotto or somewhere um this bit of hair is really frustrating me um but yeah so got that and then also got this i'm just going to quickly do a couple of the buttons up so it looks a little bit more presentable again this is like real life this is what like real life youtube is like i just can't be prepared all the time i just can't do it so I've got this gorgeous cardigan, and if I can remember, I think it was £14. Um, it's this lovely, like, little cable knit, like, on the arms, lovely little, like, brown buttons. Got this for Jessie, um, and it's just really sweet. They actually had one in Zara that was pretty much the same. Um, I think it might have even been a really similar price, or maybe a bit more. Um, but I actually already had this one, so I didn't need the one in Zara as well. Um, but yeah, I just think, like, a cable knit cardi is, like, just an essential for like even myself, I love my cardigan. Um, I actually, Jude doesn't have one, I don't think. He did have one, but I think he outgrew it last year. He's got lots of jumpers. Um, but yeah, cardigan is just like, just so easy to have because you can just undo the buttons on them if they're getting a bit hot and easy to take on and off and whatnot. But yeah, this is really, it's actually quite thick as well. So that's really lovely. Gorgeous little boots for Jessie. They look like this, they're super duper cute. They're all lined inside and they've got like um, little dinosaurs around the bottom. I don't know if the camera is going to like focus or not. I think it might be a bit too bright. But yeah, they're super cute. And these were, let me see, £17. And I just thought they're really sweet and like fun for Jessie to be able to wear. Um, and they're a good price too. And Jessie, actually, I have mentioned this before. But I think most of my Instagram, not on my YouTube. So Jesse um, has had mobility, but he's extremely, extremely bendy in his feet and his ankles. Um, so he has to wear shoes that are like more tougher and go up the ankle to support him. So he does have special like orthotic inner soles as well. Um, but yeah, so I always buy him shoes that are high up if anyone ever wonders why. Um, and then I also got the boys a matching shirt each from Next. And this gorgeous like star grey print shirt. They're matching one for Jude and one for Jesse. And then I got them also matching dungarees. Let me just quickly put the straps up on this. These are super cute. Um, the shirt, I can't remember actually how much the shirt was. I think one was like 13 and one might have been 15 or something. I remember with next, they kind of like price, um, like the higher the size, the kind of the, the more the price, which is fair enough because more material. 
Um, so I got these gorgeous little like tan cord um, dungarees for each of them. They've got these tiny little like dinosaur um, pattern like design on the little buckles um, and their little pocket and then the pockets at the side and they're fully long like straight legged and then the little pockets on the bum. And they're super cute. They literally remind me of something you would get in Zara. I just absolutely love them. The boys have actually already worn them. They don't have the labels on. Um, but they're super thick. They actually are like proper weighty. So they're really good for like autumn or winter. Um, and I think Jude's one might have been like 18, 20 pound and Jessie's one might have been like 15 pound. But I'll link it all below for you guys. So I also got this from Next, which is just this super cute like grey teddy bear hoodie. It's just so sweet. It's got little pockets and Jesse loves having pockets that like, stores all his cars and his dummies in there. It's so sweet. Um, and it's really thick and really warm and it's actually super easy because when you are getting them in and out of car seat and obviously kids can't wear a super thick coat in a car seat, this is just so handy for that kind of when you're in and out of the car or whatever it is or you're just kind of going in the car to go to someone's house. You don't need to put on a really thick coat. Um, this is just really handy to put on them like because you can still get the seat belt over and stuff like the car seat straps and stuff So yeah, this is really comfy and this was about 14 pound I actually can't remember 100% because he has worn it um, And then I also got this actually I actually only took the label off this last night because Jesse wore it last night I think it was like 10 pound um, But Jesse also had one of these when he was a baby if you've been following me on Instagram for a while you would have seen it um, and so I actually got this in quite a big, I think this is 12 to 18 months purposely so he can kind of like grow into it through the winter. Um, and it has a little sticky feet on which are really good because Jesse does fall over quite a lot. Um, and it's just a zip up which is the most handiest thing. I don't know why they don't make all baby grows zip up because it makes life so much easier when you've got to change nappies in the night or anything. Um, yeah and it's just a far easier than doing a million poppers. Especially when kids get like bigger, as they get bigger and the poppers get more and more and more and you're like, oh my god. Anyways, this is so cute and Jesse wears this to bed. I actually sometimes just slip it over him. Um, if we wake up in the morning to do the school run, because we literally live like minutes from the school. So I sometimes just put this over him, carry him, I'll put him in the push chair and then I know he's like instantly warm. Um, and it's just really, really comfy. They do actually do it in a really lovely pink one for girls as well, which I would have bought if I had a girl. But I don't. <laughs> um, okay, so that was all next. I'm then going to move on to shoes, it's the last part of the video. So quickly I'm going to show you these wellies, I did actually try it and wait to show you, like keep them clean and not used, but it has been raining lots here in the UK so Jesse has one because they're the only wellies he owns. So I've got these lovely little wellies by Grass and Air, they're from a company called Kidly, I will link these down below. Um, and they're kind of like all just like white. And then you can kind of see there's a little bit of colour. And when it rains and they get wet, or it doesn't have to rain, just any time they get wet, all the little raindrops go all different colours. And they're just so sweet. And Jesse noticed it the other day and he was like, wow, and he couldn't believe it. He thought it was fantastic. Um, and they are kind of like all fleecy, like inside. Um, yeah, Grass and Air, a really nice brand. They have lots of um, different patterns and stuff. Um... And yeah, they come in like a little little bag and stuff. They're really cute. Um, and I think they're about £20. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, they're so comfy. I actually sized up. I got them in a size 6 because um, I'm going to put them on with his welly socks. And whenever he has been wearing them, he's been wearing really thick socks anyway. Um, so I always like size up with wellies. I think it's really handy to size up when you are going to wear thick socks and things like that. So yeah, these are super, super cute. I love these. Well, actually, Jesse actually loves them. He wants to wear them every single day. Even when it's not raining, he wants his ways. Um, okay, so then I got some shoes from a brand called Cavat. So these are made in Sweden. I have showed these before on my channel in the summer. I got Jesse some Cavat shoes. Jude's had Cavat wellies and things before. Um, and they're just really lovely. They're all like eco-friendly and like sustainable and responsibly sourced and all things like that and they're just really lovely shoes um so i got jesse these little slippers which are super cute these are actually in the sale they've got like a nice hard bottom um, and i think these are 16 pound in the sale and all of these three pairs of cabat shoes i got from alex and alexa so i'll link them down below i think these are still on there i was looking the other day um yeah and they're just really handy because um i work a couple of days in the week so i dropped jesse to my parents house and it's easy to just pop these on in the morning and then he can just walk to their door like from the car um, and he like normally will just stay with my mum or she's got clothes and shoes for him there anyway. So yeah, it's really handy having like hard bottom slippers. Um, yeah, so these are super duper cute. And did I say how much I weighed? I did. I can't remember then. 
I also got this pair here, which is super cute. These are little cravat trainers, um, which are really lovely. These are a five. I think I might actually need to change them for the six. Um, but actually they look quite alright, but I'll try his feet. I haven't actually tried these on him yet. Um, but these are super cute, and I can't remember 100% how much these were. Um, I'm going to say like maybe between, I think these again were in the sale actually. These were in the sale. I think they've got these for like 20, 25, maybe a little bit more. Um, their shoes are quite pricey, but their shoes are all like, honestly, like really good and eco-friendly. Yeah, like completely breathable. They're just really good. Like honestly, I've never had a problem. Their shoes never wear out. I keep them all for like if I have any more children. They wash up lovely. They're really nice. Um, so yeah, this is just their little like Velcro trainers, which I just think are so cute. And it's really hard to find white trainers. Um, for like kids that are nice and like not like all material that are gonna go horrible if that makes sense. Um, Cause you want them to be like all weatherproof really, which they are. And then I got this pair, which I absolutely love. So these are so gorgeous. I got these pair, oh the boxer. These pair of gorgeous little shoes for Jessie. So these are actually a size six, so yeah 23. I did actually size up for these because I think, you know, it's only a tiny little space um, from different sizes in shoes anyway. And I think he these will last him when I want to buy them all in a five. And then a month later, he's grown out of them or something. Otherwise, it's just a waste of money because they are quite pricey. I think these are about £35, again, from Alex and Alexa. Um, and I like the fact that they go high up and they've got the little holes in so they're breathable. And the little laces, I just think they're just so... They're just the most cutest little shoes I've ever seen. Like, they they really are just so cute. I absolutely love these. Um, so, yeah, I've got these shoes. And then that is actually it. That is it. I actually have another um, load of clothes from H&M, but I'm going to do it in a separate haul. Um, I don't... Yeah, I'm actually going to post that video after I post this one. So, yeah, the H&M video will be next, and that is a huge kids clothing haul i didn't actually realize how much i'd actually ordered um it's massive so it needs to have its own dedicated video um so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video if you do please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching